You know, I'm struck by this, too, and we did hear Barack Obama, not only in this speech, but also this morning, hit John McCain on the issue of Iraq. He mm -hmm. is taking John McCain's strength mm -hmm. and trying to turn it like judo into his weakness, on specifically on veterans' issues, for not voting for the GI Bill, mm -hmm. and also for what appears to be this slip-up by John McCain about that, we're gonna, that we've returned to pre-surge troop levels in Iraq, when in fact we've not. Yeah, I, I have to say I do not understand what's going on with the McCain campaign on this pre-surge level thing, the way that they are standing up for this, the way they are defending that mistake that McCain made. I mean, he is still saying, I did not misspeak there, and he very plainly mm -hmm. did. Yeah. Even his further elaboration of how at the end of July, then we will be down to pre-surge levels, that's not even true. He's mm -hmm. digging himself in on this. He's letting Barack mm -hmm. Obama continue to hit him on this over and over again. And what Gene says is exactly right. Common wisdom says Republicans win whenever you talk about war and national security. Doesn't feel like well, it when Obama like, and McCain like get into what, it now. What, what happened here? I mean, John McCain essentially made the first mistake by saying, mm -hmm. uh, Barack Obama should know that we're achieved a success in Iraq. We're back right. down to pre-surge levels. In fact, we're not down to pre-surge right. levels. Right. And then when, when John McCain was asked to clarify, he said, well, we will be by the end of July. But, but we won't be back no, down to, so he twice and made the mistake. And this, this cannot be a good, this cannot be a fertile ground for, for John McCain to fight on. This is not the right ground because that question, how many U.S. troops do we have, combat troops do we have in Iraq? That is not a winning issue for the, ah, for the Republicans as long to as the answer is about right. To remind people about how many, 150,000 so troops. Say, no, we're going to be down to pre-surge level. Part, you know, the problem with the whole surge strategy is even when you take away the troops, you're still back down only to where you were right. before the surge began, the except ex and to highlight the fact that that we, you know, to be talking about the fact that actually we won't even be there. That cannot be good but, for the but, Republican but Party. Barack Obama's fall. got a problem here too, and it is this: the people have made their decision about the Iraq War, how we got in, why we get in. They think it was a mistake, and they want to get out. But the question now is how we get out, and this is where the Republicans will come at Obama. <laughs> He is going to lose the war that we are now winning. And there is hard evidence. The surge has worked. Secondly, the Maliki government is in control in Seder City. Third, May of this year, the, the casualties were down where they were in 2004. So if Barack Obama is coming off as, we're getting out of there, and McCain comes off as, you're going to lose the war. These guys won. I mean, the Washington Post, your own uh, newspaper today, said Barack Obama's got to adjust his position for the fact that we are succeeding and the Maliki government is succeeding. He can't keep the position he had, as he did just today, that the Maliki government is failing, because as of now, it looks like it's my, working. My newspaper has been way to the right of the American public the on the Iraq War. Yes. The Washington Post the Washington has Post supported the, the you editorially. You might be has, out yeah. to the left. No, no, no. Of, you know, editorially, the Washington <laughs> Post has supported the war yeah. long since right? pro, the, you know, public opinion. Well, they don't want to lose it. The well, no, but, but it's, it's not about winning or losing the war at this point. In fact, the way that you just characterize what's going on in the war, I think, is not going to come across as acceptable to a lot of American people. I cover the war every single day in, 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 my, in my job. And if you talk about the, the point of the surge being to bring about political reconciliation in Iraq, the largest Sunni political party in Iraq isn't part of the Iraqi government and has called off their talks. Uh -huh. In the in, in Sadr City, yeah, maybe Maliki's troops are, have crossed over al Quds. Street at this point, but you know what? They also burned Mal Maliki in effigy on Friday, but, but, yeah. as well as an American flag. Well, should, but, but to talk about this respect, as like, oh, we're going to win and there's a light at the end respect. of the tunnel, it's just not Look, true radio, outside the Wall Street Journal editorial you know, page. Radio America, Radio Venceremus, or whatever you work for, <laughs> is not is not middle America, for heaven's sakes. Okay. I mean, it is no, not. Is the no American people don't, well don't want to lose this war. Now, position, if, 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 if the they don't want to lose Party's the war. Position, it is that we should get out of Iraq later rather than sooner. That's not a winning issue for is the Republican Party. Is it should we lose the war? That's the issue. You know, later rather than sooner is the issue.